morning welcome we were doing uhv3 and we are up to lecture 6 about how to fulfill our basic human aspiration how to go about it what is the process so we've been saying from the time of uhv2 itself and we've been able to see that our basic aspiration our basic desire our basic need is for happiness and its continuity this is a need of the self and for this continuous happiness we also saw how it is required to have the right understanding the right feeling and the right thought which are all activities of the self and which is being termed resolution so what we have been saying right through that the need of the self is fulfilled by the activities of the self and when we look at this resolution if you look at the contents of this resolution what all does resolution encompass it is looking at the entire picture so to have clarity of first of all within the self the right understanding being able to see the reality the way it is the wisdom to see what my purpose is what my role is how i fit into this big picture what to do with what we see as the reality and then the science of how to go about fulfilling that purpose that goal so this um, the right understanding the wisdom the science this all has to happen within the self so as we unfold the higher activities within the self all this is to happen in the self like we discussed once we become aware or once we are able to see the reality the way it is then all our lower activities we will make effort to bring them in line with this reality as we see it the pattern in the existence although even though we have not reached there we may not have reached there but the glimpse the veiled form in the form of the natural acceptance is still there so we we are able to uh, refer to the natural acceptance and we can still get some idea of this some clarity but of course eventually the full clarity would be possible through seeing things for ourselves being able to see the reality within myself now with this clarity of seeing the reality the wisdom the science behind how to go about fulfilling the goal then i get to work with nature and i get to interacting with human beings with that goal in mind and i participate in the larger order because after all we are talking about human goal that means not just my individual goal of happiness but also the goal of the family for this understanding and prosperity in the family for the goal in society of having a society where there is fearlessness there is trust and being able to see the harmony in nature and existence and live accordingly so all this is included 
in the larger human goal. So I can see my participation in all of this. And then I go about instructing my body to help to express this outside in my interaction with others, in my work with nature, in the larger order, the participation that I do. So now this involves not just the self, but also the body. And as a result of this, what happens outside, we have the potential for an undivided human society and a universal human order. And the potential for having this continue, this undivided human society and a universal human order, continue as a tradition, generation after generation. So all this has to happen outside. So you have all of these points put together form what we are seeing is resolution. So now you can see how this is an all-encompassing solution to any issue. Once you can see, once you can see the way things are, have the wisdom of you know, what to do, then we can work out how to go about it within the self and then with the help of the body express this outside in our interaction with other human beings when we are working with nature and our participation in the larger order. So involving self and body and with the result of this one can work all the way up to an undivided human society, the universal human order and human tradition. Now you can see nothing gets left out. With this, we cover whatever issues there may be. Now we are not looking piecemeal at one small solution for something and therefore messing up something else because we have covered the entire expanse. Not just my individual goal, but the goal of entire humanity. So we are considering everything, the holistic view of things. So this would be called resolution. And with this, we had um, mentioned yesterday, for self-reflection, we had asked you to look at this this resolution from a point of 3.1 to 3.9, these nine aspects, if we can reflect on them and see, can we see that we have a role in each of these points? Can we see that there is something that we need to become aware of at every point. It's not just one or two. It's not just that self-realization is the goal. Beyond that, for the complete resolution, we need to look at all of these and see our participation, our role in this. So were we able to do this exercise yesterday? Were we able to reflect on this? And if we'd like to share our reflections, now we can do that. And of course, the other part of it, the awareness about what is going on in the imagination all the time, that is a continuous process that must keep going. Because now, when once we complete this lecture, then we'll go back to 
the exercise and we'll go on to discuss steps 2 and 3 so if anybody first of all will be able to see this at home will be able to reflect on this can you see yes or no in the chat some people have already shared yes but for the most part are we able to reflect on this yes so in this part if anybody would like to share their observations what they could you know reflect about in this or if you have any question regarding this much content that we delivered yesterday in fact this also we discussed yesterday this is just saying the same thing that resolution involves right understanding and right understanding means what understanding the reality in its completeness that means being able to see things the way they are that means going all the way up to the realization activity of realization to be able to understand everything in the existence the way it actually is not colored by my assumptions based on what i am seeing through the body but i am being able to see directly through the self with that the wisdom being able to see what my role is what is my goal what is the human goal the goal of all human beings with that seeing how to fulfill this human goal the science of it this has to happen through the thought process how to go about it so we said for this all this this has to happen only in the self not much role of the body here the next part the behavior the work the participation there you involve the body also so when you interact with other human beings now with this goal in view having seen the reality having understood how things really are i see my relationship with every other human being and i interact with every other human being with justice in my relationships so that there is mutual happiness similarly when i work with the rest of nature there is mutual prosperity not only am i prosperous but i am also making sure that i participate in enriching the nature also and if i look at my participation next slide please in the larger order then i am thinking not just of my small family but i am going all the way up to the world family and i can see my role and how i can be a link in that chain that leads to the fulfillment of all human goal so this all this involves my effort my role within the self and with use of the body and the outcome what we expect from this because if there is not if the outcome is not there that means the resolution has not we don't have clarity of all the points of the resolution but if we are working towards that and we can see how it can achieve this outcome of an undivided human society where this human human relationship 
is there the clarity of that is there and it is in the living in all human beings from family to world family and similarly the universal human order where this fulfillment of the human goal is the one that is prominent that is coming to the surface and all the systems fall in line accordingly so that there can be accomplishment of these human goals from family order to world family order and not just for us here and now but for our children and grandchildren and their children and grandchildren and so on generation after generation this can be the human tradition in which this human goal can be fulfilled so all of this what is to happen in the self what is to happen with use of the body what is the outcome outside we need to have clarity of all this then we can do what needs to be done realization Mm-hmm. so does it fall under wisdom divi ha huh? we were talking about self realization realization uh-huh. was the topmost goal in the previous life now realization is not in this resolution so does it mean that resolution falls under wisdom under this resolution divi look at the first topic in resolution what is it right understanding what is that what does that mean to see the reality as it is in all the four orders so what is that is that not realization ji 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 that is what is realization isn't it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. realization in the self means what getting to the highest activity in the self means what being able to see the space being able to see the submergence of the unit in the space being mm-hmm. able to see everything in this existence the way it is that is mm-hmm. what is right understanding is and that is realization yes ji 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 still the goal but you mm. have to look at the whole picture see so now you may be thinking okay this is what i have to do within me and that it But after you get there, also then what? Mm-hmm. I still have some role outside. Mm-hmm. It's part okay. I need to work within myself. I need to get to realization. But with realization, what? Okay, okay. Then. I can I can have a role in helping others reach there too, isn't it? Mm-hmm. So, yeah? the whole society everywhere you know i am able to see how the existence is we live according to that everybody lives according to that mm mm ji 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 regarding my second uh, observation ji ji so when mm-hmm. i was thinking about all these resolution i can clearly see all these 52 years i am not able to see this vision and i can say it is not in alignment also did mm-hmm. so that was my observation true that is true for many of us because we never thought about these things we never looked within isn't it mm mm-hmm. we were just going about you know seeing things outside through the body and just seeing Sort of so influenced by everything outside that there was no clarity about the self. They were on other things about resolution. If there is no clarity about the self, then where are we going to look for anything else? Isn't it? Ji. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long in life it took for us to see this or to start working for it. Not that we have been able to. We may not be able to see it all right now, 
but at least we're in that path and we know what our goal is and what to work for so we are now making effort for that so in hindi there is a term you know jab jago tab sabera whenever you wake up consider it to be morning then if we can see our role here we can see that no matter how long it may have taken mm-hmm. from this time onward from this moment onward i can see what i need to do where i need to take the effort mm-hmm. so let's focus on that yes so now what we were talking about that are we said that the whole expanse of our living the whole expression when we realize the coexistence living with coexistence or living with this realization of the coexistence that expression in our conduct or human conduct that definiteness of human conduct if you look at this this is the same thing that we have been saying only now we have split it up into some points that make it you know break it down to have more clarity about each points separately so all these different aspects of our living within the self with the body in relation with other human beings interacting with nature and existence all of this can be placed now in that slide that we were looking at about you know that slide with all the activities and on the one end there is the realization within and on the other there is the expression outside so this expression outside has to do with my interaction with other human beings with working with nature participation in the larger order and finally it needs to be expressed outside in the form of world family order universal human order and human tradition so all these aspects clarity of all this is resolution and we can place this on the slide that we spoke of see what we were speaking of earlier the work that needs to be done in the b1 block is to understand things the way they are to be able to see the reality the way it is to be able to go all the way up to realization so the, on the one hand there is the realization within but once we have this realization within then we come back down to the lower activities and bring them all in line with this realization and as a natural outcome of that when we interact with other human beings when we work with the rest of nature when we participate in the larger order this is expressed outside in our living as definiteness of human conduct and with that we can go all the way up to you know the entire expanse without any boundaries so all the way up to an undivided human society or a world family what we are calling and fulfilling the human goal of the universal human order and then continuing with this as a tradition generation after generation so this is the expression outside now if we look at the points that we spoke of if we can go to the next slide we can place these points you can see in this purple block you have to have the clarity of seeing things the way they are so for that we have to work towards realization within 
that would be 3.1 then to be able to see the human goal that means also having clarity of the harmony that is there the self organization that is there in every unit in this existence being able to see my relationship with every other human being and with nature with every unit in fact and seeing my role my participation in that so that what is to be done and how to go about it that clarity comes from all these higher activities within the self so the clarity of what the whole picture is isn't it that clarity 3.1 3.2 the right understanding and the wisdom of what to do this we can get once we are awakened to the higher activities now how to go about the science of how to go about it 3.3 that can be done by bringing the lower activities in line with this so that involves the b2 block but this is all still within the self so 3.1 3.2 3.3 you can see how this is all within the self now when i express it outside my behavior with other human beings 3.4 work with the rest of nature 3.5 in my participation 3.6 this is involving self and body and then looking at that larger view the expression outside not just in my interaction but in the larger system so the undivided human society 3.7 universal human order 3.8 and human tradition 3.9 so this whole thing is what we have to be working for uh this slide itself there is a point that's written one one point so what does it mean it has got any significance If you see, we have been talking about this right from the beginning, right? Mutual happiness, mutual prosperity, fulfillment of the human goal. This is according to the priority, first priority. Not like that. I mean, I would say don't consider that one at all. Leave it. Don't worry about that. Let us look at this. The whole thing together is. No, no. We are looking at mutual happiness, mutual prosperity, and fulfillment of the human goal. That is the whole thing. Now, if you break it down into small bits, you can see all these points with clarity. Yeah, yeah. Where are? Yeah. Yes. The further fragmentation of three point three, like I'm not. able to correlate it with the purple part the 3.3 yes yes yeah so see once right now when we may not have awakened to the higher activities our desires are being motivated by what by the outside mm -hmm. largely by preconditioning by sensation isn't it yes so when they are driven by that our thoughts are also accordingly my expectation is also accordingly mm -hmm. and my expression in the behavior is also accordingly like for instance i may assume that um say we'll take a practical example students must obey their teachers mm -hmm. isn't it mm -hmm. so now i decide that all students must obey me because i am their teacher so whatever i say they must follow mm -hmm. and if they don't do that i become unhappy 
सकते हैं माई होल एफर्ट इज दैट माई होल फोकस इज ऑन द एक्सपेक्टेशन दैट दिस शुड हैपन आउटसाइड एंड अल्टीमेटली दैट इज वॉट मोटिवेट्स मी और इज इज दैट इज माई होल थॉट प्रोसेस दैट इफ दिस शुड हैपन आउटसाइड देन थिंग्स विल बी फाइन कैन यू सी दैट now when i awaken to the higher activities i see how things really are i see my relationship the birds are very loud <laughs> but i see my relationship with every other unit i see my role my participation then i can also see that you know just as i am a human being with self and body this child this student and every other human being is also a coexistence of self and body i see the similarity in the self i see that every self wants to know wants to understand and if the child is what we call disobeying or not listening not that he intends to make me unhappy there must be some reason behind it because now i am seeing with the relationship i am mm. not just seeing that person as just any student which you know doesn't concern me now i am seeing this person as somebody related to me i have concern for this person so i am seeing my role what can i do to help him in the process so that he can be there in the class so that he can listen to the proposal so that he can understand things better so that becomes my effort now because of the higher activities guiding now those preconditionings from outside i will evaluate all of them and see are my preconditionings really in line with the reality or not are they naturally acceptable to me or not and when i do that i will find that you know if another person does not understand the relationship it just means lack of understanding in them but i don't have to become unhappy with that i can see my role and being happy within ensuring my feeling within i can work towards helping the other to understand now you can see how my thought process my expectation shifts mm-hmm. isn't it mm-hmm. now this shift has happened because of the 3.1 3.2 clarity okay yes hmm. that means without doubting the intention uh, trying to cooperate with the help of higher Self. That is only this small example. Yeah. But yeah. for everything in life, your entire conduct will be with that big picture in view. Okay. That whole thing. That this whole um, from three point one to three point nine, I'll be able to see my role here. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. Thank And you. for yeah. that, for getting to that role. my thoughts my expectations will fall in line with this so that is where 3.3 is in the b2 block it will become in line with the b1 block clear yeah thank you okay. so here you can look at b2 what we were just talking about that is the dimension of thought so that is the dimension of thought the b2 block now here is where we give the proposal so if you can open up yeah so now we give the proposal from outside isn't it when we give the proposal from outside 
what are you doing you are thinking about it so the proposal is received and you are thinking about it that process is happening in the b2 block now when that happens now you open up a little more yeah then you verify this proposal what do we keep saying everything no this is a proposal don't believe or disbelieve try to verify it on the basis of your natural acceptance on your own right and everybody has this natural acceptance so you verify this on the basis of your natural acceptance and this is where this is in the b1 block isn't it so you are verifying it from there and then you are you know with that in view now you have verified it in your thought process you say yes this makes sense so now i have verified it within but i still need to bring it in my living so that i can experientially validate it so that's what we do next so you can open up the slide more yeah so now we experientially validate it by living according to it living according to it means in our behavior with other human beings it should lead to mutual happiness mutual fulfillment in our work with nature of nature it should lead to mutual prosperity mutual enrichment so this is one other way of looking at it as what is happening how this process of self exploration is happening within us ultimately the outcome is the same here also as our vision grows we are able to see our participation in the larger and larger and larger order ultimately having clarity of going all the way up to the universal human order so this is what is the goal this is what is the effort this is what is clarity of resolution and the process of how we are going about it thing to be true isn't it yeah but we don't know right from the beginning we have been saying no desires we have to check are our desires our own where are they coming where are they motivated from so like this simple thing that we say you know there is this thing that you know you must respect your elders this we may have been doing from the beginning because of the precondition we grew up with that no we didn't make any effort to verify or do anything but we grew up with that respect all your elders so we have been doing that yes but in that preconditioning we are not mentioning the younger people so now when i verify with my natural acceptance i can see that i need to respect not just the elders but even those who are younger to me because what is naturally acceptable to me is also naturally acceptable to the other isn't it yeah so just as i have a need for respect the other also has a need for respect so like that every preconditioning we may have it could be in line with the natural acceptance or it may not be in line depends on our preconditioning isn't it yes it but some will be in line and some will not be in line so how do you know for sure what is right for you that guide is always the natural acceptance so the verification happens with the natural acceptance mm -hmm. and all these proposals that are being put forward 
these are proposals that are actually in line with natural acceptance but we keep saying from the beginning don't believe it don't believe it verify it so that when i verify it for myself i start asking the questions myself i keep referring to the natural acceptance then i have the ability to open up the higher activities within myself but if i just believe it then it is one more preconditioning that will just work on my b2 block then i am not making any effort to awaken my higher activities so for the higher activities to awaken within me i have to refer to the natural acceptance to begin with and you can notice that as you keep referring to your natural acceptance it becomes a process that becomes simpler mm. you don't have to keep asking that question again and again it sort of becomes a natural way that you just go through very smoothly just like awareness of the imagination initially we may have to make lot of effort to try to remember to see the imagination we forget in the activities but as time goes we become aware of the imagination more often and more often and the effort required seems to become less and less as we move towards that so this is the whole process now there was a question with uh, whether we are verifying it or analyzing uh, it how can we differentiate between this is it only uh, is, is it really verifying the proposal or am i just analyzing it yeah so if you are verifying it you are referring to your natural acceptance and you can see that natural acceptance is universal isn't it it doesn't change with time place person it is same for all so all those criteria if you look at it you can double check that you are not just analyzing things that answer will be the same for all and it will be the same for you at every moment regardless of situation outside regardless of where you are regardless of time place all that okay isn't it yeah yeah and analyzing means uh, it is only on the thought level thinking about it okay okay analyzing thing means you are thinking about it and you can see how your thoughts keep shifting every few moments you will see there is some other thought so the thoughts yeah. keep changing today what i analyze on the basis of whatever i see outside may be very different from what i analyze tomorrow or at a different time so you will see that analysis will not always lead to the same answer and at different times you may analyze and get a different answer or it may not be the same for all so you can verify and see that this is just in the thought process i am not checking with my natural acceptance but this verifying from natural acceptance we have been doing from the beginning right yes so that spontaneous answer that comes from within without analysis analysis we think about it think about it think about it and then we come to some conclusion but for natural acceptance you don't have to think isn't no. it no. you just ask the question and immediately you get the answer true yeah so can we say that uh, when we are uh, verifying it on the basis of natural acceptance uh it gives strength to bring it in behavior it gives what strength in the decision making to bring it into behavior ah you can say it like that it becomes clear to me yeah, yeah. it, it yes. becomes clear now i can see that yes this is true for me because that answer has come from within me i have not taken it from anywhere outside i am not just believing somebody else it has come directly from within me so i have that clarity that yes this is right for me oh. then with that clarity i can go forward ji yeah. ji thank you thank you ji ji thank you discussion was going on i was thinking that respect the elders uh, like then uh, as a younger person how i myself uh, used to feel bad when 
I was not respected only because I'm small. Respected in a sense that my viewpoints were not listened to or uh, like uh, that kind of thing in adolescence, in childhood, even now, like if it happens. So uh, I was trying to think and uh, see uh, how I would feel as a younger person. Uh, Didi, can we see a uh, say this is self verification and analysis would have been okay. Younger people also have selves. Why should not they get equal respect? All selves are equal. I, uh, is it analysis? Analysis yes. and verification through the natural acceptance are two different things. Hmm. The analysis, you know, you can justify many things based on likes and dislikes also. Hmm. Isn't it? You may analyze things and because your desire may be being motivated from the outside, say sensation is the desire, I mean, the sensation is the motivation. And I am thinking of eating something, huh. which is not nurturing for the body. But I'm not referring to my natural acceptance and asking that question, is it going to nurture my body or do I want to nurture my body or do I want to harm the body? That question I'm not asking. But I am analyzing and thinking it's, you know, every day I'm eating healthy. One odd time if I eat like this, it doesn't matter. I'm not, ask, I'm not saying right or wrong or what decision to make. I'm just trying to give an example of verification versus thinking and analyzing. So I may analyze this and I may say that it's okay once in a while eating junk also, it doesn't matter. It's such a huge body and it is self-organized and things will take care of itself and that's fine. It won't matter. Now I have taken a different decision. But if I verify, at least I can see that this is not nurturing for the body. Now I'm not you know, the analysis is one part which is going on in the thought process. There, the answer will not be universal. You can see that. Everybody oh. will not get that answer. Isn't it? Oh. Oh. So there, you may not get to the right answer based on your experience. In this case, yes. the example that you took, you are taking it based on your experience. But somebody else's experience may be different, right? So now, what do you do? So ultimately, verification should be from natural acceptance. That part, I think, is important because to be able to see that this is something beyond thought. It's not coming from my thought because thought can be influenced by many things outside. It's a lower activity. Isn't it? It can be influenced by my beliefs, my experiences in the past, so many things. And it will be different for different people. But when it comes to natural acceptance, that is from the point of view of pure observer, the highest activity within the self. And from there, there is no difference. You will see that, that this is universal, this is the same. This is actually reflecting existence the way it is. So it is universal. And from there, if I take my answer, my verification, then there is definiteness. In thought analysis, that definiteness will not be there. That I check my feeling that if as, a, as an individual self, if I'm not respected, Irrespective of my age, uh, like uh, if uh, I'm not listened to, if uh, I'm not hard out. So uh, uh, then I, uh, we can say that, uh, yes, why respect only elders? Uh, it, should, it is applicable to all. So if I draw the conclusion from my uh, feeling, will not that be natural acceptance instead of, okay, in our custom, I was saying that I was trying to understand what is analysis and what is uh, self verification yeah, see, regarding analysis, this thing. Yeah. See, analysis is you are drawing conclusions from your experience. It may or may not be in line with your natural acceptance. 
but is it not that we are checking our feeling and uh, i thought that we are asked to do that only that check your feeling at this moment check your feeling so for what where are you going to verify it from you look at your feeling I, but where do you verify it from at any point of time at any situation i would not feel good and uh, if no, i am not how do you giving. how do you say you are not feeling good what does that mean and what is good you see now see somebody cheats you so somebody cheats you in your experience it is an unpleasant experience you don't feel good that person didn't do the right thing and you may justify whatever by analysis and your analysis may be different from somebody else's analysis isn't it but if you verify oh. through the natural acceptance now you will get a different answer oh. isn't it so natural acceptance is where you will have universality where you will have um you know definiteness but in thought and analysis there is no definiteness there is no universality and it is likely to be colored by anything from outside your assumptions from outside can be driving your thought process and what is your experience can be different from somebody else's experience so all are not uh, able to uh, be at the highest point of realization na madam not able to be means we may not be at that point yet ah that's yes. my actually doubt how can all be referred to natural acceptance equally because natural, natural acceptance natural acceptance you can refer to it now you don't need to be at the realization point so without being at that point how can i uh, refer to it i ask you now do you want to nurture your body do you want to harm your body what is the answer you get ah uh, i i want to nurture my body this is the answer coming from natural acceptance yeah yeah but at all conditions uh, it's not coming sometimes it's it purpose. is coming if you look at the purpose and you ask the question regarding the purpose of what you are doing you will get that answer from natural acceptance even now we don't refer to it that's a different matter mm -hmm. okay but that possibility is there and not just possibility we can do it right now this moment mm -hmm. it's already there we just have to refer to it oh yeah so yeah it's already purpose, and mm -hmm. you will get the answer